God be the glory, great things he has done. He has brought us to see this beautiful and glorious day. My name is Akikomi Thomas. I pastor one of the parishes of the Redeemed Christian Church of God called Living Bread, Newcastle. And today, we'll be looking at the hope in heavens as uttered by the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Yadeboye. And our topic today is when heaven cooperates with you. A Bible passage, Deuteronomy chapter 28, 11 to 12. And the Lord will grant you plenty of goods in the fruit of your body in the increase of your livestock and in the produce of your ground in the land on which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in his season and to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. A memory verse. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 12. The Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hands. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Our reflections. Beloved, it is a beautiful thing to be blessed. When God blesses you, nothing and nobody can stand in your way. Every effort you make yields fruit. Every prayer you pray gets answered. You become a stranger to failures and fruitless hard labor. Sweat and toil distance themselves from you. Everybody uses you as a reference point when they are praying to God for favor, progress, promotion, peace, and abundance. Somebody defines a blessed person as one who always have help waiting for him or her. In other words, he or she may not have one dollar in his or her pocket right now. But if a situation arises in the next five minutes which requires one million dollar, in order for it to be sorted out one way or the other, in a way that no one could explain, the one million dollars just show up. Someone who is blessed by God is never left stranded. Help will always show up, even at the very last moment. In our devotional reading of today, Pastor Yadeboe gave us one further sign that you find with someone who is blessed by God. He said, even heaven cooperates with such a person, may heaven cooperate with you. The moon, the sun, and the stars will cooperate with him, or such a blessed person will be able to operate like Joshua, who commanded the sun not to set and the moon not to rise because it was on a divine assignment that must be concluded that particular day. And ever responded to him by preventing the sun from setting and the moon from rising until the blessed of God finished his assignment. I pray for you and myself that the sun of your lives will not set until we have finished our assignments in the name of Jesus Christ. You and I and the members of our families will not die before our ordained time. We will not expire suddenly. We will fulfill the mandate of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. All the forces of creation will cooperate with us so that we can finish our assignments. As we carry out these assignments, I pray that we will not struggle, we will not toil. The grace of God will be made abundantly available for us and our efforts will be fruitless. Why don't you join me as we all do our best to align ourselves with the God of blessing as we proclaim our commitment to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. May God bless you and prosper the work of your hands May the heavens cooperate with you. And our prayer point today is this. Father, let every element you have created combine forces to give me a smooth ride into the destiny you have created for me. And it's my honest prayer for you that you will fulfill your god ordained destiny and heaven will cooperate with you and your joy will be full. Thank you. God bless you. Have a fulfilling day and your joy will be full in the name of Jesus. See you again. Bye for now.